Okay, I've been working on this every day since the last episode. I'm confident it will be perfect on the first try. I can do this. Oh, not this guy again. Really? Uh, can't, can't we just start these episodes with one of us making music in the space toilets like we used to? No, this, this came down from corporate. Sponsors, sponsors thought our old openings weren't classy enough. Something. Classy? Are, are we trying to be classy here? This is an exploration of an unknown, uncharted world in the name of science, in the name of advancing universal knowledge and civilization, hopefully. Our listeners and sponsors should know that by now. None, nonetheless, I am here to start things off, and I've rehearsed it many, many times. So, so not to worry. I, I'm going to get it <clears throat> on the first, the first take this time. Oh, fine, I fine. Do just, this. just go. Just okay. Go. <clears throat> cue the music. Cue the theme music, and welcome every being to another episode of Green. Oh my word, that's not anything <laughs> like how I rehearsed it. I oh, I yeah. swear, I I had this down perfectly before this. Perfectly, but must be the second show nerves here. Okay, let me come in one more time. Welcome. Here we go. Okay, 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 I got this. Welcome, every being, to another episode of Green. No, no, that's not it. I can't believe this. Oh my god. I... Green. Okay, I've got it now. I've got it. Here we go. Okay. Welcome, every being, to another episode of Greetings, Earthlings. Our more astute and dedicated listeners may remember that we left our favorite Meeporpian explorers on their way to the universe's favorite casino resort and celebrity hangout on Fan Shui. Where, as they say, what happens in Fan Shui stays in Fan Shui. Or, more precisely, stays in the host bodies of Fan Shui's visitors until it eats up the best parts of the host's insides and decides to burst forth from the host body, usually at an inopportune time, like during a work meeting, thus revealing that you did not work long hours over the weekend on that proposal like you promised your boss you had, but instead you picked up a lethal parasite on a gambling trip to Fan Shui. Of course, your career aspirations are mostly over at this point. Anyway, with your, your body turned inside out and clinging to life while the parasite is demanding the wallets and jewelry of all your co-workers. Oh, and look at that. The parasite just told a joke and made all your colleagues laugh at your expense. It is truly not your day. That's it. That's it. I've I've warned you two all three times before. I've told you we do not need a narrator. You leave me no choice but to proton blast you out of existence. What? I, but, but I'm just doing my job. I, I've got a wife and kids. Well, not children, but three baby goats. Yuri, have a heart. He's, he's got three baby goats. I have three hearts, actually, but not one of them is telling me to spare this, this intrusive charlatan. Charlatan? I, I'll have you know I studied narration at Lehigh University in the foothills of the Allegheny Mountains in Pennsylvania, one of the more prestigious narration programs in the universe, I'll have you know. Yes, Captain, if, if, if anyone's a charlatan, it's that ridiculous announcer of ours. Hey. I find that to be really <laughs> uncalled for. Oh my goodness. Do you have to elongate words even when you're not announcing? No. I, I mean, I mean, yes, 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 I do. Of it's, course you do. It's a genetic condition. I, I'll have you know, and I feel so <laughs> violated now, <laughs> privacy-wise, not physically. Little did the announcer know the physical violations that awaited him as soon as the taping of the show was completed, once the lights were turned off and the crew cleared out and the studio producer asked him to stay late to talk over his role on the show. Hey, wh what? <laughs> it, is, is that true? Does, does the narrator know what's going to happen? If so, that's... That's really creeping me out. No, no, don't worry, Serge. I'm, I'm sure the narrator just has a wild imagination and a flair for storytelling. 
why that's exactly what they said about my senior thesis that I, I had a wild imagination and a flair for storytelling. Oh, wow. Well, maybe they said that about all of their program graduates. What a hurtful thing to say. <laughs> that's, that's it. I'm, I'm blasting you both. <laughs> 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 You you shot them, Captain. They were just doing their jobs. Uh, it's it's a shot across the the bow to corporate guri to corporate guri. We we have to stand up for ourselves in this in this business, lest we be overrun by these 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 two bit poorly conceived characters. Terrible writing. How how do we know they were poorly conceived? You you weren't there when they were conceived. Well, wasn't I though? I see. Well, at, at least we can finally hit the casino tables. Where where are the money changing stations? Uh, I believe they're over there near the pay toilets. Oh, right. They get you coming and going here, don't they? Nice one, Gory. Now, let's try to stick to the gambling allowances we set for ourselves. There will be no sticking of our new spaceship on a bet, no matter how sure you feel, no matter what the potential winnings. Got that? Oh, I wouldn't dream of that, Captain. Oh, and look at who it is, the mighty vanquishers of Gorgonzola. Look, everybody. Quiet, quiet down, Farid. It's, it's great to see you, and you are not wrong. We, we are the brave Meeporpians who rid the universe of that, of that evil scourge. But we'd rather not call too much attention to our accomplishment. You see, at least one of the Gorgon princes, Lord... Cameron Bear, I believe, has sworn to avenge his father's death by, by ridding the universe of all we Poppians, starting with us. Yes, yeah, I, I heard that on the last episode. That must have been pretty terrifying. You seem to be taking it well, though, here on holiday. Uh, have you warned me, Poppian High Command? Well, uh, of, of course. Of course we did. Um, Guri, you... You you sent that emergency channel embroidery. I I asked you to send, right? Who me? What? You you must have asked Shipward. Ah yes, it was Shipward. Shipward. Yeah. Now now where where did he wander off to? Shipward. I I think I saw him wander into the adult section over there, looking at some ship's manuals. Ah, uh, like a moth to the flame. Uh, well, it's, it's a good idea to get one last romp in here on Fan Chewy. I love this place. Have you seen the stiletto queens from Slepathia on the silver stage over there? That's a hot ticket. Don't tell my wife, though. Ah, uh, where does she think you are now? I'm out getting some more straw for the burrow. Uh, thank the stars for time travel, am I right? Oh, you can say that again, Farid. Oh, well, okay. Thank the stars for time travel, am I right? <laughs> oh, no, no, it's just an expression, Farid. Oh, right. I, I thought maybe there was some sort of trouble in the audio recording here. Oh, great comets, Yuri. We're doing it again. Here we are trying to lay low when we're actually broadcasting our current location on the podcast here. All Camembert has to do is tune in to know exactly where we are. Are we... Broadcasting this live or pre-recording it and then making it available. I've I've never been clear on that. It... Well, well, it's a good question. I, I I hope we were making it available in a timely fashion. Otherwise, we'd be sitting on quite a bit of content at this point. And 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 what's the point in that? Oh, we we really do miss having an intern. Poor poor Timmy. Timmy, I I, I wouldn't worry too much about Cam and Bear listening to any podcasts. He thinks there are too many of them now, and and for any of them to be any good. Well, that's an unfair rush to judgment. Oh, he specializes in unfair rushes to judgment. You'll see. And now I don't think Cam and Bear will find you here, but you might run into Lord Roquefort, who is a frequent flyer on Fan Shui. He's probably squandered more of his royal inheritance than even that dingbat Lord Edom who has gone from art school to cooking school and now horticulture, as we learned on your last podcast. Yes, well, well, thank you for the intelligence, Farid. We, we will keep an eye out for 
or Roquefort. Say, what what does he look like? Well, you will smell him before you see him. A strong, pungent, musky smell. Drives the women crazy. Strong smell, swooning women. Oh, got it, got it. Say, you wouldn't want to join me over here for some space poker. Place a wager or two involving that star runner spacecraft you've chanced upon. Aha, you're on. Captain, you just warned me not to make any bets involving our spaceship. Yes, I warned you not to do that because, uh, well, we, we, we can't both do that. We we only have one ship, you see. Well, I thought you meant it was because it's a very bad idea. We should limit our losses to one Carflugon's pay, plus whatever we can find under, under the cushions of our space couch. You only lose your ship if you lose the bet. Exactly, and... We're riding a huge wave of confidence after our recent victorious battle, so so watch out for it. Perhaps we'll be walking away with your ship by the by the time the night is through. <laughs> uh, well, well, oh well, who who would fly that ship back to Lerf if we had two ships? Ooh, perhaps I would have to be captain of the second ship. You couldn't be captain, Gory. You you're up for a, for a demotion, this Kaflugan, after that stunt you pulled last episode, answering Gorgon Zola's phone and trying and failing miserably to to impersonate him. Remember? Uh, we're still hung up on that little mistake, are we? Well, yes. If I couldn't captain for each ship, then I, I guess that would leave shipward. Who, as a former ship's computer, is more than qualified? Or I could just fly it back to you guys, seeing as I need a ride anyway back to my home planet. Oh, oh, sure. You you lose your ship to us, and then you'd fly it back for us. We, we weren't born in the last millennium for it. We know your tricks. <laughs> no honor among thieves, I see. Have it your way. Now just follow me to the high stakes table over there. I'm right behind you, Farid. And I suppose this might be as good a time as any to pause for a word from our first sponsor. Yes. Our popularity seems to have shut up in the universe since we vanquished Gorgonzola. And we now have multiple sponsors on the show. It's very exciting. So here is the first one. And I did insist they pay for this spot ahead of time this time. Yeah, that was good. Hey, I'm Ort. And I am his brother, Nort. And we want to welcome you to Nort Ort and Nort's Nort. Bar of Sports. Of... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Nort's Bar of Sports. Right. Bar of... Yeah. It's all the rage now that we've discovered sports on the distant planet of Earth. Yeah, we managed to salvage most of our inventory from Orton Nort's sip and snort after our little run in with the law. That's right. So you can sip and snort and watch sports. We still offer all the illegal drinks and snorable substances known the universe and all over. All right, that's it. I see you're up to your old tricks again. And all this while you're out on bail awaiting charges from your last incident. You're going away for a long time, or not. What? But but we but we didn't. What do we do? Come on, put put on these handcuffs. You know the drill. Stop the recording. Stop it. This commercial is over. Oh, oh goodness, well that was cut short a bit sooner than expected, and uh Yuri is off with Farit at the high stakes table and Shipward is still in uh, seven minutes of heaven with the ship's manuals over there, but uh, uh, maybe maybe I'll just run our second commercial here. How do I do that? Uh, oh, I'll press this button right here, and uh, here we go. Oh, sweet and foul pals of filth! Where are we? Hank, are you conscious? Uh, I, I wish I wasn't, CC. I, I really wish I wasn't here right now. Is is the car stuck? Does it run? Well, we're we are stuck up to our waist and quickly hiding excrement, CC. I, 
I imagine the car engine is is in no better shape. Well, that does stand to reason. Yes, indeed. We're literally up Shit's Creek here, it seems. <laughs> I, I, I'm in no mood for jokes, CC. No mood. Nor am I. Now listen, let's try to extract ourselves here and make our way to that building over there. It looks like some sort of a business establishment. Uh, maybe they've got an employee restroom with a shower where we could wash up or just a hose and a utility sink or something. Well, uh, won't they be happy to see us? Two, two strangers covered in filth asking to use their, uh, their facilities. Now that's one request that's coming a bit too late is what they'll be thinking. But we'll simply explain. This wasn't our own doing or doing with two O's. Oh, we were simply caught in a mudslide made of diarrhea caused by a space-time continuum fluctuation concentrated in the lower intestine, uh, in my lower intestine, during program black hole travel. It's a well-known potential side effect, uh, which I'm sure they'll understand. Which I'm sure they will not understand, CC. We'll be lucky if they don't report us to the authorities and we don't end up in jail or, or the loony bin where oh. I've seen us. Oh, Hank. Oh, now you can't call it the loony bin anymore. That's a, that's a woefully outdated terminology here in the 21st century. Well, what is the appropriate term then? I, I, I can't keep up. Is, is it the nut house? Is that what it's called? No. The cuckoo's nest? Nope. Uh, oh, how about the funny farm? Not getting any warmer. Uh, the Republican National Convention. Well, now that's a good guess, but no. Uh, anyway, I'm not sure what the politi politically correct term is, but l let's just get out of this stink pit and take our chances over there. Per perhaps they'll take pity on us. Oh, God. Smell. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm free. Oh, thank the stars. My my foot is stuck, Cece. I, I, I think it's caught in, in the seatbelt, maybe. Here, oh. here, let's just give that leg a good tug. Well, 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 well not too fast now. I, I, I don't want to lose my shoe. Oh. oh, there you go. You're out. Well, well without my shoe, though, I, I told you it will, it will be left if, in there if we, if we move too fast. I'll buy you a new shoe, Hank. I'm, I'm not exactly flush with cash at the moment, but if we only need one shoe, uh, that should be half price at the shoe store, and I'm sure they can break up a pair, uh, maybe maybe with one of the display models that's been tried on a hundred times already. Oh, thanks, CC. You're, you're really cheering me up. Now, let's just straighten up a bit before we enter this building. Uh, what does it say on the sign here? It's a Zoltan and Issa's bottomless ball pit. Well, who ever heard of a bottomless ball pit? That sounds amazing. Zoltan and Issa. Well, well, they sound nice, I guess. Well, let's find out. Hello? Is anybody home? Oh, well, well, that's strange. The place seems uh, open, but, but there's no one here. What? Who is there? Uh, can't you see we're on lunch break? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. We, we, we didn't see a sign. This is okay. It's no biggie. We don't have a sign, so this happens all the time. Uh, Rikia, where are you? Why aren't you at the front desk? Oh, I, am, I am sorry, Zoltan, but you dragged me in here. Uh, I, what? When? Uh, when you remove pants and shout, uh, last one is rotten canary, and then you you push me in. <laughs> Why don't pretend you don't remember this? What? No, no, this didn't happen. My little Minsk here has a very active imagination. Well, I I hope we're not interrupting uh, anything here. We, we we really didn't mean to disturb you. Oh, of course not, my friend. We are all friends here at Zoltan and Issa's bottomless ball pit. There is no disturbing. We are not disturbed. Are you disturbed, my little Minsk? I, I don't know this disturb. What is it? Oh, her English is not so good. Please excuse. Anyway, how can we help you today? Oh, you look, you look like you both had very bad accidents. You are brown from the waist down. Oh, uh, well, 
Yes. A- and we can't explain that, my good sir. Uh, Zoltan, is it? Uh, l- let me explain what happened, Zoltan. Uh, well, uh, I'm, I'm not sure you, you really should do that, CC. There is no need, friends. We see many things like this before. It happens many times in the ball pit here, especially with the little ones who are left here for days. We have had our share of exploding diapers, and it gets all over the balls here, which Rakia here cleans. Yes, yeah, I, I clean the ball. Oh, my little Minsk. Now, uh, how how do you clean them, actually? I'm Hank, Hank, it. that's kind of personal, don't you think? I mean, oh, oh, I see. The, ba- the ball's in the ball pit, yes. Uh, uh, how do you clean those uh, here, Rakia? Because uh, we could sure use a hose down ourselves. You come with me, you dirty Americanski, and I, I will make you clean. Oh, uh, well... Uh, I... We have saying in Mother Russia, sometimes you you must get dirty to get clean. Hoo-hee, I feel like we're traveling internationally, don't you, Hank? Uh, I'm not sure Hilda would approve of me of me just robing in front of another woman here. Well, well, my lips are sealed, Hank, and you know you can trust me. Take it all off, boys. I will use power washer on your unmentionable. Oh. Oh, now, are you sure that's a good idea? You can, you can go to town on our clothing over there, but that high-powered blast might sting a little bit. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! No! Hell! Oh! oh, for the love of God! Oh. Ah, that's right, Rakia. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, that's right, Rakia. Get them squeaky clean. Just like the balls in the ball pits. It's just like the town health inspector told us. Poop is not our friend in this facility. In fact, it is not allowed. See the sign there uh, with the illustration. I drew it myself. Ah! Oh, I think I'm filling up with water. Please stop. Uh, we make enema to be sure. Ah, that's right, Rikia. We must be sure. We don't want to be shut down again. This is not good for business. Speaking of business, where's my brother, Isa? Uh, I'm, I'm right here, Zoltan. I was watching you and Rikia before. But why you do that, Isa? That is freaking me out. I thought you were balancing the books. Uh, I balanced the books on me head for, for three <laughs> minutes while juggling, but, but then I become bored, so I try the Rieska with, with, with her pants on. You tried to see her without her pants. So I told you, Isa, we can't both have hots for the Rikia. Uh, for Rikia. This, this will not end well. I thought you had a thing for the girl at the McDonald's. Uh, yes, I do. I, I have this thing for many girls. I, I am, uh, how you say, a uh, man, no? Oh, I would give you a high five, Isa, but I see we are out of time for this commercial. So... Come on down to Zoltan and Isa's bottomless ball pits. I am done with you now. I put your pants back on. Uh, but they're soaking wet. Fine, I, I will dry in the oven. Oh, now, now hold on. Did I hear you trying to wrap up this commercial, Zoltan? I thought I thought this was our commercial spot. Well, no, it's uh, our commercial. We pay uh, good monies for the time. Oh, well, uh, we don't pay money. The the little aliens seem to just accept our gratitude for payment. Uh, I think it powers their ship somehow. Uh, g- gratitude? What is uh, this? I have never heard of it. We Ruskies like to deal in the, uh, the cold hard cash. How you say? Uh, cash? Yes, yes. Wasn't that what the Cold War was all about? Uh, uh, well, I guess we know who came out on top there. Or oh, uh, do we now, you soft American ski, uh, with your lazy boy recliners, with the food compartments and uh, cup holders built in, because you cannot even move your big bodies to the icebox. I- Isa, yes. you, you can please shut up now. You are insulting our guests and our future customers. Say, say, you wouldn't have a child happen to have a child to drop off in the ball pit here. We we could lose him for you. Oh, you would you would lose the child. I don't think you mean to say lose. Well, well, now we don't, but our friend Dennis has a little nephew who can be quite a handful. 
and uh, we'll mention this place to him. We will uh, lose his child forever. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, for, 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 forever? No, 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 don't listen to him. Not forever, just as long as you want to lose him for. It could be a day, a week. We have many different pricings. And, and the kids, they have the best time in the ball pit, so they never complain. Yeah, e if they complain, uh, Rakia gives him uh, gives them the hose. The children are always dirty. They need to be clean. Okay, well, it's a hell of a business plan you've got here. Z Zoltan and uh, Issa, was it? Uh, yeah, it is uh, Issa, you uh, American ski swine. Oh, well, yes. say, you, you both should come on down to my house of saws and Hank's Wholesale Holes. It sounds like you're with a bottomless ball pit. You're in the whole business yourself. Uh, but should you need another one or... Or our friend Dennis that we mentioned, well, he he just opened a drill dungeon that you might be interested in as well, especially you, Isa, and prob probably that Rakia there, too. Uh, drill dungeon? Uh, I am there. Sounds excellent. My dream home is a dungeon. <laughs> okay, well, and now I think we're way over time for this spot. So listeners out there, come to those places I just mentioned or to Zoltan and Issa's bottomless ball pit, where I have to say the service is very thorough. I won't be able to sit down for a day or two, but clean as a whistle. That's for sure. Come back, Amerigonski. Yes. Wow, wow, what? That, that a strange word from our two sponsors who seem to have have met and are now sharing commercial time. I, I really don't understand how this is happening, but I must find my crew, which seems to have fallen into debauchery's clawed grip. Oh my, is that shipwood over there? Come back here, you little Minsk. Ah, oh, get away from me, please. Oh, oh he's chasing oh. a female being of some sort who seems to be wearing only a few torn pages from a ship's manual. She she models the infinity drive so well. You drive me to infinity, Balthusa. Help! Security! Security! Shipwood! Shipwood! Stop pursuing that poor creature and get a hold of yourself. Uh, endeavor! I must uncover her inner workings. Uh, Leave me alone. Oh God! Well, that should end well. Goy. <sighs> Oi, you've, you've got, you've got to help me. I've, I've lost everything to Farid. Everything. Oh, I can see that you're naked. No leisure wear tentacle warmers. Yes, yes, I, I lost those too. Farid, he wears them like a sweater. <laughs> oh, I can see that. He looks quite fashionable, actually. Y Yuri, I will let you back in the game if you... Stake the small child in whose room you're staying. Runyon, I believe his name is. He looks delicious. <laughs> Don't do it, Captain. I can see your 12 eyes widening. You cannot gamble with the young hummus bean's life. Why, why not? He's he's actually rather annoying, and he, he never gets my name right. Never. That's Double and nothing, Captain. Your ship for the Runyon. You're on, deal. Captain, Captain, no, come back. Oh, this is not good. The tide is turning, Guri, the tide is turning. I feel good about this one. Uh, if you're short of funds, sir, I could perhaps be of some assistance. Oh, well, uh, <clears throat> thank you, but I think I've worked it out, and I'll just continue back to my seat at the table there with... Uh... It, it doesn't trouble me either way. I simply recognize a fellow traveler... Hold on a minute, I'm getting a call on my hollow communicator. Uh, well, I must be getting back to my table, actually. Uh, oh, uh, oh. Oh, here. Oh, oh, the high stakes table. I'll, I'll see you over there later, then. Hello. Hey. Roxy, is that you? Well, of course it is, Kamikins. Can't you see me? This is the hollow phone, after all. Well, the connection is a bit fuzzy, as I'm traveling through an asteroid shower at the moment. I just have your audio. 
Ah, well, to what do I owe the pleasure of a call from my younger swashbuckling brother? Have you reconquered another one of father's territories? I don't know why you bother. They're firmly un they are firmly under his and our Gorgon control already. Yeah, well, that's exactly what I'm calling about. Listen, I, I have you conferenced in with little Edom as well. Hello, brothers. I don't know what this is all about, and I have some geraniums that desperately need watering. Oh, here we go with the gardening woes again. Listen, shut up, the two of you. I have some bad news. Um, <laughs> are you sitting down? I'm always sitting down, Cammy. You know that. I travel around on a cushion carried by peasants. I, 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 I can't sit down right now. I'm hanging from two vines over over one of my more delicate flower beds. Oh, that's fine. I, I don't care. Look, here it is. Father is, he's. <laughs> what? What? His what? Is he sick or something? Is he crying? Are you crying? What, what's no, going on? No, no, let me try. Let me try to get it out. He's, he's. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? Oh, well, I can't make heads or tails of this. We still don't know what's wrong. This is a, this is a bad connection, Cam. Listen, these geraniums are parched. Can this wait until our evening game of Risk, the Universe Edition? Even though I don't even know why I continue to play that, I just, I just don't even want to take over the universe. I just don't care. Father's dead. <laughs> Father's dead. There, I said it. Uh, de dead? Did you say? How terribly inconvenient. Oh. Uh... Oh, I've, I've fallen off my vine and crushed my geraniums. Oh, terrible. How, how, how did it happen? Terrible. Who did this? Well, who did this? Well, the vine just, just broke and I fell. I, I, not I, I not know you, it. you nincompoop. I'm not talking to you. I'll tell you who it was. It was some two-bit me Parpian naval scouting crew who just happened to have stumbled upon Father's one weakness. Heat and mold? Why, everyone knows that's how you ruin a blue cheese. You, you better keep your head on a swivel too, Camembert. My flowers, dead or dying anyway. Come back to me, sweet geranium. Would you shut up about your flowers? Eat them. I have just told you your father is dead, and all you can do is just... Well, we, we all must return to the soil from which we sprang. Well, oh, well the two of them dust. the two of them were not exactly peas in a pod, uh, the way you and father were, Cammy. So this must be very hard for you. Well, I'm a little upset myself, or maybe more in shock at the moment, at, at my sudden loss of income. I'll hit you repeatedly in the gut. <laughs> It'll hit you for the next few hours, Rooksy. Uh, but I have sworn vengeance on the Meporpian bastards that did this, and all of their kind. Now, who who did you say it was that did this? You're, you're breaking up a bit. Porpians, or porpoises, the highly intelligent space-traveling beings from Earth. There, there are a few of them here at the Grand Casino tonight. No, not porpoises, me porpians! Greek Orgians, the tiny aquatic creatures from Leaflorp. Yes, the tiny nuisances from me porp! Well, that, that, that is unexpected. Our, our mighty father brought down by such small and seemingly harmless Greek Orgians. Did, did they employ a Trojan horse scheme, perhaps? They did have plans for a Trojan horse game, yes. But look, just keep an eye out for any me porpians you see at the casino tonight. If you see any, send me the signal, and the roulette tables will run red with the blood of me porpians. Me porpi? What's the plural of me porpian? I... Me, me, me porpoises, I think. We, what? So we're yeah. back to porpoises again? Oh, shut up, Edom. Go, go water your plants and I'll try not to blow up your garden planet the next time I see you. Oh, so much hostility. I, I don't understand the rest of the universe, but I do understand you, Geraniums. What's your name? Hello, Oh, oh you very you well then. This is making no sense. So so I'm, I'm ending this call. But wait, I, I haven't well. told you my plan to avenge the... Beep, beep. Very, very bad connection. 
And very bad news, actually. I, I suppose I'll be quite sad when I sober up. But for now, uh, it's back to the high stakes table here, and... Uh, oh, it's you again. I'm, I'm not sure I caught your name. Oh, yes, it's Yuri, for, formerly the captain of a first-class star runner spaceship, which I've just lost along with the life of a small hummus bean child to that vile temptation over there in, in the tentacle warmer sweater. Ah, oh, I see you've met Farid. He's yes. what they call a snakefish here in the casino. A survivor. He always comes out on top. Although he does have one weakness. Oh, really? What? And what is that? His weakness? He, well, I'll let you know. He absolutely never says no to a bet, no matter how much the odds might be stacked against him. Oh, really? <laughs> well, that is useful information. I could have used a few car packs to go, but now oh, I have nothing to bet with. But I'm all spent. Well, oh, well, old chum, I just, away. just listen up here. I, I do happen to have some of Daddy's spoils of war to use to perhaps get you back in the game. What you, you do that for me? But, but you just met me. Well, I get a certain thrill out of helping someone who's down and out come back and vanquish their tormentor. What do you say we take on Farid together? Oh, well, I, I say hurrah and tell you and. Cheers to your father, whose fortune will finance this worthy operation. My, my, spoils of war. my late father, I just found out. No, say, say it's not so. How, how could this happen? He was so young. I mean, I can only assume because, well, you look so young. Oh, well, you're too, you're, night is young. you're too kind. You, he wasn't that young, though. Still, a shock to know someone so... So powerful and successful, and well, he was, he must have been to um, amass his fortune at your disposal, right? Well, well, he, he, so he, proud. he was a conqueror of worlds. But more importantly, a good being, a good being, good, yeah, a good being through and through, am I right? I right, well, you're right. Well, it the best. De depends on your definition of good, I suppose. Better than good, no, no doubt. Great, even, and we're going to help you avenge your great father's death. Just, just as soon as we get our ship. Oh, excuse me, miss. Uh, yes, I'll, I'll have another one of those, one of those tall drinks here with the, with the candied straws. So delicious. But what was I saying? Oh, yes, I. Just as soon as we win our ship back, <laughs> I. Then we'll find your father's millers, uh, killers. Oh, we'll find your father's killers. You're too Ooh. kind, Yuri. Here, here, I'll stake you this amount to get you into this hand. Aha! Uh -huh. Quadruple or nothing for it. I'm back in the game here, thanks to this kind gentleman. What was your name, by the way? I, I didn't even get that from you yet. Oh, oh, yes, uh, my friends call me Roxy. Roxy, your friends call you... You see, I don't have many friends, Roxy. I I don't have any, really. I mean, you, you can't count people who report to you as your friends, right? Everyone reports to me. Everyone. And the other spaceship captains tend to snicker and point when we meet at captain's conferences. I don't know why. Maybe because if it was raining and I, I, I could unfold my plastic... Parker, I didn't get situated over over my three heads and tentacles the right way. It's very difficult to tell the head holes from from the tentacle holes of those things. It's just it's I, so hard. Okay, I hear you, Yuri. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't know about problems with Parkers, but but I hear you. I I feel like I can really talk to you, and you you know you really get me, uh, and you really you really listen. Do you? You know what I mean? Yes, yes, you, yes, but quite right. But I, I think this hand may be our chance to win back your ship. See Farid's whiskers uh, twitching over there. That's that's his tell. It's oh. not a tell. I have allergies. The air conditioning in this place is bothering my sinuses. Do, do ferrets have sinuses? <laughs> I could have sworn they did not. 
Well, that seems like a strange fact to be carrying around in your heads, Yuri, but despite his protestations, I do feel like now is our time to pounce. Hopefully you've got a good hand. Oh, I don't have any hands, Roxy, as you can see, just Your, said your cards, your cards, I mean. Hopefully you're holding some decent ones. Oh, right. Uh, I don't know. What, what does this one mean, this thing with a little face? Hey, hey, dealer, that one is showing his cards to another player. That's against the rules, isn't it? It's not. Oh, what kind of gambling establishment is this? I thought this was the high stakes table. Well, the stakes are certainly high enough for it. With his spaceship and the life of an earthling child, I believe it is, on the line. Are you going to call his bluff, Yuri? What? Yes. Yes. His bluff. But of course, I will do that. How do I do that? Fancy, he welcomes all sorts, doesn't it? Uh, y y Yuri, you just motion that you are calling his bet. Dealer, those two are clearly conspiring against me. Yuri, I thought we were friends. Why, Farid, I cherish our friendship. You know, you know that. It's just that I, I need to win my ship back. Because a captain is nothing without a ship. <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes that's not even enough. Here you go. I got a pair of sixties. King High. King High. Oh, no. I've only got these three queens. You did it, god. Harry. You did it. Oh, God. What? I did? Yes. I did? Yes. Three queens beats a pair of sixes by a long shot. Well done, Captain. Ah, I was so looking forward to Runyon Stew. I guess I'll have to trap and kill a small human child the old-fashioned way by luring him into an abandoned well. Here are the keys to your ship, Yuri. Don't get too chummy with your new friend there. Uh, you might be in for a surprise. Oh, my keys, my ship. Thank you for it. You're an honest gambler. If there was... If there was one. And I just want to say, I admire that. You are my hero, oh, Free. Oh, boy. Stand up. And Stand up, Yuri. I love you. I love all my friends. I love this casino. I love this rug. I look. How plush it is. It's so okay, soft. Okay, okay, old chap. You best step away from this table for a bit here. Let's get you some fresh air. Go, Ray, ship. Where, where, where are you? We have our ship again. And even better, I've made a friend. Where is he? Where are you, Roxy? Oh, Roxy? I'm right here beside you. Ah, of course. My vision is a bit blurred for some reason. <laughs> and I'm not really feeling in tip-top shape, but... We must avenge your mother's death. Let's find her millers, killers. My my father's death, you mean? Yes, your father. Wait, what did you say? Your brother? Silly, silly of me. You probably you probably don't even have any brothers. I wish well, I had. A brother. Well, I have two, actually. Two? Well, 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 every every being has a mother. Isn't that true? Throughout the whole universe, mine was a tree. Oh, oh, there you are, Yuri. Who's under the blanket next to you? That's that's Shipwood. He he's wanted by security here for numerous counts of lewd displays and assault. We must leave immediately. Lewd displays and assault. Why, Shipwood? I am so proud of you. Oh, who, who's the best? And, and who's this pungent fellow? This? Well, he's my new best friend. My new best friend. Gory, Gory meet Roxy. And Roxy, Gory. Roxy, Gory. Hello, sir. Roxy, Gory. Hello, pleasure. We must avenge his sister's 
death. He, he helped me win our ship back. So we owe him. We owe him a death of gratitude. Oh, really, really. It was nothing. There, there is no debt. Nonsense. You're coming with us. You, you can bunk with me. We can tell scary stories until the wee hours of the morning and we drift off to sleep. What, what just happened? And with that, the intrepid Captain Yuri fell fast asleep, overcome by the excitement and many strong spirits of Fan Shui, leaving Guri and Lord Roquefort eyeing each other uncomfortably, and Shipward, a bit subdued and embarrassed, while being led out of the Grand Casino under a blanket. What will happen next with these strange bedfellows? Will any one of them be in any condition to put two and two together? Or will those twos remain apart, leaving the sum a mystery just outside of their feeble grasps? Stay tuned to find out on the next episode of... Greetings! No, no, no! Oh, that's not right! Hold goodness. on, hold on, hold on! Let me try it, let me try it again, one more time. Here we go. Let me get this Greetings! Nope, nope, too high, too uh, high, Can we fire high. him? I, I, I will get it this time, I will get it. Here we go. Greetings, Earthlings! Q exit theme music. No, oh, don't read we're that. We're not supposed to read that. Don't read that. Oh, sorry. What? No lines for Thede? No lines for Thede at end of the episode. It just says Thede. What does this mean? I, I think it What does this mean? I think it just means we're supposed to end the episode. Your, your name means the end. Did you not know that? This is news to me. <laughs> we thought it was old family name. Fiend one, Fiend two. Yes, we come from long line of fiends. Yes. Uh, if if we keep talking here, it's more of an epilogue than an ending. <gasps> epilogue, ooh, my old friend. Where is he? Is he here? Epilogue. Uh, hi epilogue. there. Uh, hi there. How you been, Fiend? Ah, uh, we can't complain. We star of new podcast. <laughs> we have Cookie in Belly. We very happy. Cookie, Cookie, Cookie. Ah, that must be nice. And my wife just left me. No, Prologu, no. <laughs> I thought you two worked so well together. You were so nice. Well, nice. you know, you know how it is with long distance relationships. We were just yeah, on the opposite ends of things too often, I guess. And I, I always thought we might meet in the middle, but yeah. Sad, sad, sad story. <laughs> Feed, feed God, you cry. But <laughs> Well, well, you know what they say, guys. Uh, so, sometimes the end of one thing is the beginning of something else. What? Hey, I, I haven't heard that before. What are you talking about, Gory? The end is always the end. It's just the end. There is there is nothing more. That quite called the end. Well, well, except for this particular ending and, and most of our podcast endings where there always seems to be something more. So, Never ending, really. Should should I just play us out? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, you know this, I, I don't know. I don't know what this guy's talking about. Me neither. The, this is very, very, very weird. Now there be music. The this end, does not sound like end either. It leads to the beginning. What's he talking about? I think he's crazy. Are there words to this song? This actually sounds a bit like beginning. Most of most of our shows start with music. I'm gonna go get a soup and a sandwich. I don't know. What you're doing. Actually, soup and sandwich sound very good. I'll go with you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. This is stupid. Bye. Yeah, it's, it's, got good soup here. It, it's, it's really it, it's kind of meaty and flavorful, but not too salty. No, no, I, I come here for the soup. It's, it's lower sodium. I'm trying to do lower sodium. Do, do, do they have any cookies here? Yeah, I got desserts and stuff. Actually, oh, yes. Yeah.
I order two cookies to go. I have a bear claw. I think it's a real bear claw. It's like a bait. It's like a pastry. Oh. Oh. Oh, that bear claw. That makes more sense. I get a coffee. Though. Still recording. Oh, is this gosh. still going? We're supposed to fade out on that. How do I turn this off? Does anybody know how I D turn this don't off? Don't we have exit music? I th that was the exit music. Hear it. No, no, the other, the exit theme. The or maybe we already started. I did. Oh, we'll do it in just post. Hit, just, just hit, yeah, do it in post. Post. <laughs> 